Got a, got a fun challenge set for you. Fancy riding for 24 hours? I'm excited for your complete offs and uh, it's absolutely stunning. Now that I came this way, I'm feeling both tired but then it feels like I've only been riding for about half an hour because of just like the, the scenery. But after the after the weather this morning coming down on the train from Newcastle down to Leeds, it was like biblical rain. And then just as we set off, it started to ease a bit and then and then we've got this. So we're thinking uh, this is going to be called the North Race. Uh, I got back from Sicily, um, a bike trip to Sicily yesterday, and then came back up on the train to to the north um, this morning. Um, tomorrow I'm heading down to Leeds to the Restrap factory because they've asked me to ride as far north as I can get in 24 hours. and. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to plan it here now, a bit of a last minute plan on Kamut. So I'm going to put the restrap factory in here and Kamut. Looking at the weather, it's kind of a cross head, which is not ideal. And then throughout the night, it kind of switches round to a cross tail. It could be worse. And hopefully I miss the rain. I think it's meant to be raining up until I leave at three. And then doesn't really rain again until three o'clock the next day, so I might have the perfect weather window. I've left the restrap factory. I'm now heading out of Leeds towards Skipton, directly into a headwind, which is not so nice. But yeah, at least the rain stopped, and hopefully get a dry spell all the way to towards Aberdeen. Five hundred k, three hundred miles. Wow! Oh, well, that's <laughs> Yeah, a little bit. There's a long way to go, a very long way to go. But you kind of just gotta forget that a little bit and just take it as it comes and try and tick the kilometres away. 500 kilometers is a long way. You kind of just got to break it down and not really think about the the end destination that's so far away. So glad I chose to go through the heart of Yorkshire. It's just stunning. It takes the mind off riding a bit. I've been riding for just over three hours now and it feels like 20 minutes. I'm sliding up King Moss. I want to go somewhere a bit nice, aim for somewhere very pretty. So just below Stonehaven there's a place called the Notter Castle. I'm kind of going into the headwind and then when I eventually, when it hopefully through the night, when it switches direction and I get a tailwind, I'm going to absolutely fly the next day. That is incredible. Glad I came this way. I'm feeling both tired, but then. It feels like I've only been riding for about half an hour because of just like the, the scenery. But after the after the weather this morning, coming down on the train from Newcastle down to Leeds, it was like biblical rain. And then just as we set off, it started to ease a bit and then and then we've got this.
you're going through from like daylight and then a golden hour seeing the nicest part of the day the best light on all the stunning terrain that you've you've picked a route to go through and then suddenly it's dark you've got your lights on full and you're tearing down some of these descents it's I find the first part of the night to be the most fun because it's you've gone from day to a beautiful sunset and then you ride into the night it's just after nine currently riding through Kirby Stephen and yeah continue heading north I'm just coming through Appleby and now I'm going to be like turning towards Brampton in that direction. Can't quite remember where my route goes but uh, yeah I guess it's north. Feeling okay but uh, a little bit tired, yawning a little bit but legs feel fresh and yeah two more hours and then it's the graveyard shift. I'm doing all right. Uh, nice to see some stars. I think it's about 10 o'clock, so I should be in bed. Uh, the plan for the night is just to keep on going and uh, see how far I can get. I'm not really worried about average speed, just keep on ticking over. But the, the roads are saturated, it's a bit like pothole roulette with all these uh, puddles. Third of the way through. Yeah. I'm on target. Yeah. Not quite 25 k's an hour, but uh, no. I didn't really need to do that to be honest. No, I don't think so. How much food do you think I've left? Loads. Yeah, yeah. I've still got stuff in the back. Probably have to start going, otherwise I'm going to lose my advantage. Yeah. Alright, crack on. Alright, see Scotland. Where's the haggis? <laughs> that when I start hallucinating, I just start seeing little haggises running around. I'm just thinking, like, if we get to Edinburgh around about seven o'clock, I'm sure there'll be a Greg's that's open. Everyone who's been riding has gone home. You're the only one out there. You're very remote and feel like you're pretty isolated. And all that's like illuminating the darkness is your powerful lights on the front of your bike. And it just feels like you're doing something pretty cool and something that's noteworthy. Currently riding through Langholm. Uh, stopped to put on an extra layer of padded gile and um, now wearing um, big ski gloves. It's got pretty cold. Um, yeah, just trying to keep on ticking away and uh, yeah, I think it's about 70 miles to Edinburgh. I'm 
currently heading through in Lytham and it's uh, starting to get light, which is good and hopefully it'll warm up soon. Just before dawn is the, the hardest part. Yeah, you get your freezing cold. It's a little bit icy on the roads. And you just kind of want the sun to come up. Morning. Morning. It is so cold. My stick feet are still freezing. I had to put ski gloves on. Uh, but yeah, there wasn't much option just to continue. I'm looking forward to when that that sun comes up and I can like defrost myself. But yeah, there's times during the night I was just like, what am I doing? <laughs> As dawn breaks and you've gone through the coldest part of the night, it's like a new day, you feel a bit more fresh. I think there's about 113k to go. I think it's with the tailwind, it's definitely doable. I think I'll get there early. So cracks. <laughs> now coming into Dundee, and that's uh, less than a hundred k to go, and about four and a half hours. So we'll see. It starts to rain again and it's not so pleasant.
the Levine makes it really cold. Yep. I'm so glad I brought these gloves. I'm so glad you did as well. <laughs> when I saw them at the workshop, I was like... A bit Ooh. overkill. <laughs> There's been some very scenic and beautiful parts. Um, I saw two badges last night, which is cool. Got one on film. Um, lots of owls. And the scenery is incredible. But then this part's a bit grim. Hopefully the ending's nice. At least they have nice bus stops with mouldy bananas. <laughs> I didn't even notice it. It's the same <laughs> colour. <laughs> How desperate do you think I'd have to be to start eating that? That's just an energy gel now. <laughs> Squeeze it. Mm. <laughs> right. Back in a bit. Final stretch. Yes. In the last hour of the ride, your body's broken, your mind's broken. It started to rain. You just want the ride to be done at that point, but you just got to be mentally strong and keep on going to the finish. Just heading up the last climb now. Uh, should be a tailwind all the way to the finish. I'm um, in about 10 minutes, I reckon. Can't wait to be done. Got 20 minutes left, I could go a bit further north. Or we just admire the view. Which one do you want to do? Admire the view. <laughs> <laughs>